Hey guys, we're just cleaning up a few loose ends today. I have help <laughs> this afternoon, <laughs> right? Say hello. She's helping. So two loose ends to clean up. One is that I forgot to mention when we were talking about celebrating success and recognition that a really important part of what you celebrate is you. So today I want to hear from you what you are going to do to celebrate finishing this 28 day push. A lot of times our businesses are built by doing these little training segments and every time one is over I want you to celebrate. Every milestone you reach I want you to celebrate. Again, Bill and I love going out to really nice dinners, sharing a bottle of wine, enjoying the fine life. We love to do that. That is just something that feeds our soul, it feeds our relationship, and we enjoy doing that. So I know that whenever I complete something huge, that's going to be our go-to celebration as we're going to crack open a bottle of wine over dinner and cheers to the latest success. Even in the beginning when it's a small success like hitting success club, I really want you to celebrate something at least once every month. I am sure that you can find something to celebrate. So make sure you tell the group, what are you going to do to celebrate finishing this 28 day push? Make it a habit. Next up, totally unrelated loose end, but it's a loose end nonetheless. We need to talk about a little leadership issue that I really want you to get good at. There are going to be times when you're going to be pissed off at Beachbody. There are going to be times when the coach relations sucks and you really want to pull your hair out. There's going to be times when customer service gives the wrong answer and you really just want to bitch about it, right? There are going to be times when someone in your downline is like, oh, making you want to pull your hair out because you've told them 52 times and they still won't do it, yet they're complaining to you about it. Okay, there are going to be frustrating times in this business. What you need to understand is that you always complain up, not down. So if you need to vent, go to your sponsor, go to your, who I would say is your parent, go to your grandparent and complain, but never, ever, ever complain to your kids or your grandkids. Don't complain down. It's bad for business. It makes you look like a bad leader. It builds distrust in the system at, that, we're, that we're leaning on, that we're building on. It lacks credibility. And really, it's just not good practice. So have a really great support team that of, of peers. Uh, Amber and Michelle and Heather and I can complain to each other because we're siblings. That's OK. Siblings can complain to each other. That's fine. Not that we have anything to complain about. Uh, I can complain to Melissa. She's my sponsor. I'm sure Amber can complain up as well. However, we don't ever want to complain about anything to you guys. And I know none of us are perfect. I'm sure all four of us have done it at some point. But I want you to learn and moving forward that if you have something bad to say, vent up, not down. All right, guys, you're almost done. Hang in there. Let's hear what you're going to do to celebrate.